generation that they have provided over the last three years. This is one of those things that's really, really easy for a politician to be invited to join an incredible organization to celebrate and to watch their success and to tell my colleagues about their success. It makes it easy because of the drive and the energy and the vision and the tireless work that this organization exemplifies so incredibly well. So let's have a huge round of applause for women that give and the amazing journey that they have undertaken so far and the very bright days that are ahead, not only for them, but for all the incredible women and children and families that they look after. Canada is really a country that is built on our communities. It stands on the shoulders of those of us that work daily to make life just a little bit better for those that are less fortunate. And this is one example. The Canadian flag, our parliament, our role abroad, everything that we know about Canada is built on the daily work that happens here in Mississauga and right across our province and right across our country. The women and men that keep us motivated, that keep us educated, that keep us safe, that keep us healthy. I want to acknowledge the presence of uh, members of the Peel Regional Police Force who are incredibly involved and engaged in our community. And I want to say just a couple of things about the city of Mississauga before saying a few words about why gender equality and the work on violence against women is so important. Mississauga, as many of you will know, is now our sixth largest city in this country. And in terms of diversity, it probably ranks even higher than that. At one point not too long ago, Mississauga was the fastest growing city in all of North America, not just in Canada. Sometime in the mid-1990s, the pace of growth of the city outstripped every other city in North America. And it, for us, it's an incredible success story, but it also brings challenges. When people come to a place at this incredible pace without even having a chance to catch their breath and to get to know each other, we will have some work to do on logistics, on transportation, on healthcare, on education, on mental health, and sadly but truly on the work that involves violence against women. And not just violence against women, but as was mentioned earlier by Annie, things like pay equity. Yeah. Why do women make a fraction of the amount that men make for the same work? Right. Right, so this is where we need advocacy, this is where we right. need leadership, this is where we need groups like women that give right. to to make much needed change. And of course, violence against women is the issue that we need to take most seriously because it is the most harmful manifestation of the gender inequalities that we still face. Um, I connected with Women That Give almost three years ago yes. in the context of my own work on a bill that I have before the House of Commons. It's a private member's bill, and it's Bill C-309 and it aims to designate the last week of September each year as Gender Equality Week across Canada. Yes. And yes. thank you. It is it is not a week it is not a week to celebrate, but for those of you who may want to have a look at the bill, it's a two-page bill. It actually sets out in about 20 paragraphs all the things that are still wrong in Canada in 2018 with respect to the status of women. So violence is, is against women is part of that. Pay equity is part of that. The plight of new Canadian women and indigenous women is part of that and many other things as well. So we want to take that one week every year where we get the whole country to focus on why it is important to work on gender equality. And the reason I'm mentioning this is because women that give is exactly the kind of organization that I thought of when we developed this bill. There's incredible work Whoa. going on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, absolutely. There's incredible work going on, but it isn't to say things are going really well. It is to say there is so much more work that needs to be done. Yes. Yes. So I look forward to working very closely with you when that bill becomes law and to, to welcome you as part of the annual G Gender Equality Week um, that we will have across Canada. 
And the last thing I want to say before turning it over to the next speaker is that it is really, really, really important that men are a part of this. So can I just take one moment and yeah, to have all the men, and I think there are some very young gentlemen and boys among us, two of them very smartly dressed in bow ties, I think, at the far end of the room, but some others as well. Can we have all the men and boys please stand for a moment? Yay! Yeah. All men and boys in the room, just stand up for a moment and be recognized, be recognized as allies in this very important effort to move towards gender equality. Thank you for being here. Because without, without men, this work will not go forward. And I'm hoping that all the men that are here tonight for next time will bring one or two friends and will tell them that they too need to be part of this effort, including the young gentlemen, the boys that are here. You can't be too young to recognize the importance of the equality of genders in Canada and around the world. Much of the work takes place here, even more of the world of the work takes place overseas. As many of you will know, there is a lot of international work that's going on through UN Women and a campaign called the He For She campaign. How many here remember Emma Watson from Harry Potter, Hermione? So Emma Watson is one of the lead champions, along with our Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, is one of the lead champions of the He For She campaign. You can see it on Twitter, you can see it on the internet. It is a UN-led campaign that encourages men to take the pledge to step to the side of women yes. when it comes to equality, violence, pay equity, all those really important issues. So tonight, once again, my thanks to women that give, my thanks to everybody here, my thanks to the sponsors, to the donors, to the men, and let's keep working on this, let's multiply the efforts, and I very much look forward to continuing with you along your journey and to helping amplify your cause wherever it's appropriate for me to do so, and I do so with enthusiasm and with gratitude, and I wish you a wonderful evening. Thank you so much.